as I say good morning because it's 8 in the morning here and we're currently outside at Wang Tai Sin Temple. This temple is very popular and very famous here in Hong Kong and I will tell you why later. Actually, we're headed to Lion Rack today for a hike but since my fellow hikers and my friends are not yet around so maybe I might take a bit closer look what is inside the temple and I will show you also. So, go with me and let's go. Upon entering the venue or this temple, you have to scan this goods. But if you don't have this app on your mobile phone, then you can simply write down your personal details on the guard on the main entrance. You have to write down on the piece of paper. This is a digital contact tracing app launched by the Hong Kong government in order to conduct contact tracing in Hong Kong to all visitors. Let me introduce myself first. Hello everyone, I'm Marie and welcome to my TV. <laughs> Just welcome to my channel. If you are returning subscribers, thank you for coming back. And if you are new to my channel, thank you so much and welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Wang Tai Sin Temple. Wang Tai Sin is well-known shrine and tourist attraction in Hong Kong. It is dedicated to Wang Tai Sin or the great immortal Wong. It is the only temple in Hong Kong which is permitted to conduct Taoist wedding ceremonies and issue marriage certificates. Visitors to the temple are encouraged to follow a one-way system around the complex which is made compulsory at a busy time such as Lunar New Year or the Chinese New Year and Wang Tai Sin's birthday. This is the main altar or the center of Wong Tai Sin Temple. In here you can see the throne of Master Wong Tai Sin. In this corner you can observe the modern religious ritual practices, the sacrifice to Taoist gods in a form of beverages and various dishes offered in this altar. This temple also houses an important collection of Confucian, Taoist and Buddhist literature. It is one of the most impressive and well-known temples in Hong Kong and is a must-see monument on any trips thanks to its beautiful architectures and the insight it offers into local culture. And is one of the most popular temples in Hong Kong because legend has it that the temple will answer all your prayers. All wishes are granted. Many answered prayer in this temple. But if your prayers is not answered or your wish didn't come true, then maybe think of it. Maybe it's not good for you. <laughs> Simple, right? This temple or Wong Tai Sin temple is famous for a popular fortune-telling practice called Kao Sim. The ritual comprises the following. A worshipper takes a container full of bamboo sticks until a single one falls to the ground. And that stick is exchanged for a piece of paper corresponding to a number, which is then taken to a fortune teller for interpretation. And this is the Moon Gate entrance to the Good Wish Garden. Good Wish Garden, yes, this is the Good Wish Garden. They believe that all your wishes will come true if you do coins here. 
So, try it! You never know! For admission inquiry, there are no formal admission charges for visitors for entry to Wang Tai Sin Temple except for the Tai Su Yun Chin Hall or the one that I point a while ago. Yeah, there's an admission in there. It looks like that and it is beneath or underground in this temple and there's an entrance fee of 100 each giddy. So getting here, you need to go to MTR Wong Tyson Station, Quantum Line, Exit B3 leads directly to the temple. This temple covers almost 18,000 square meters. You can have the best view of this temple when you go to that stairs. Yeah, but as of now, I think I need to go back to my group because as I said earlier that I have a hiking today. So that's it guys. I just give you a little glimpse of what's inside the Wong Tai Sin. Thank you so much for joining me today.
my curiosity bring me here. I need to touch it to know if it's real or made of plastic. Oh yeah, it's real, made of wood. Wow. Yeah, you can have some picnic here if you feel hungry. <laughs> no, just kidding. Maybe you can sit here for a while if you feel exhausted, you feel tired walking around and you can sit here to have some rest. That's, that's a better excuse to sit there than eating your food. <laughs> So we are here at the main entrance and also this is the way out from this temple and if you feel thirsty there's a lot of drinks also in this corner but it's not free <laughs> you can use our, your octopus card thank you so much guys for watching and bye bye